Hello, this is a Franca upright piano made in about 1908, 132 centimetres. In stock for a while, we've done some work on it already, but I haven't made a video of it, so just spent some time today appreciating the piano, which I do very much. I'm so grateful to have got this piano. Got it through the furniture trade, and when I saw the front, I thought this is high quality casework, and looked up the name Franca, realised they were a high quality make, come from Leipzig, the same place as Blutner, though I haven't seen one before, so it's been an education for me. The ivory key tops are practically perfect, as you can see if we look along them, slightly yellowed, but um, in keeping with the rest of the piano, beautiful. Two music stands, there's one there and one inside. This is typical of top quality pianos, uh, German pianos, very often have two music stands. Now that's not been used, it looks like, that's the original colour of the piano, so it's faded mahogany, I think, uh, if you're good at wood, then perhaps you can correct me on that, but I think it's mahogany, and uh, that folds inside, so you can use that as an extra music stand, obviously, if you want to. So I think beautifully styled cabinet work. Of course, pianos made in this period of time are so much more expensively made than they are nowadays, and the tone shows that it's really much high quality as well in a new piano, and there's no reason why the touch shouldn't be as good as a new piano. That's obviously something we're trying to do, as you would have heard before. Um, so we're trying to get the touch as good as, we, as good as a new piano. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. Um, it's just a matter of working on it until it gets to that, that's, um, that kind of refinement. Um, so let's have a look inside it now. And the inside of the piano just oozes quality, typical of a really top quality German upright piano. Um, the tuning pins are very tight. They've not been knocked in at all, so that's encouraging that it is staying in tune well. We've, we've pitch raised it quite a lot, as you'll see from the worksheet. Um, and we just need to reface the hammers a bit more. I've refaced a couple of them. If you look at that lighter color on the string there, that's because I've refaced in the felts going onto the string. Listen to the difference between that one that's a lot brighter. Of course, you can choose how mellow you want the piano, but I think these hammers are a bit too mellow. They have been used a reasonable amount, but there's plenty to reface on there. If you're a technician, you'll be able to see that there's no problem refacing that. So that's encouraging as well. So you've replaced the tapes here. We did lubrication, obviously, first, um, and did all the usual regulation that we need to do to get the set off as close as possible to the string. And there's, hear the rich tone there. Lovely and warm. What interested me particularly is that there's only six single bass strings, which I don't think I've seen in many pianos at all, if any, I can't remember. So I looked at all the rest of the pianos and um, most of them have got at least 10 single bass before you get the, uh, the bichords here. And I think they're just trying to get the best tone they can. <laughs> Nice and thick strings too, so then that's that's another sign. You obviously have to have a bit more tension. Um, Bosendorf is an example of very thick strings, and they have to have a, lo have a lot of tension. Therefore, they're very they're very tight indeed, and gives a really resonant sound. Another good feature about many of these German pianos: tremendous legroom, 65 uh, centimeters, 61.5 is normal in say like a modern Forec or Yamaha, and uh, the pedals are sloping downwards with a 6.5 from the floor, which is quite low anyway, well, one centimetre less than a modern piano normally. Uh, they're very slightly modern pianos, but, uh, and they slope down, which means you don't tend to wear the end of it when you put your foot on it. It's, uh, it's not wearing the end, which you often get, in fact, the piano next to it, which is a caps. One of our preferred makes, certainly done a few caps because they're more common in the UK. A nice inlay here, as so we've got a video of this one, but you'll see that the end of that pedal is worn. Uh, they were too high. We've actually taken the caster cups off there and we're, we're putting sliders on instead, if you can see underneath. Um, but we'll look at the caps for you and, uh, well, you can see the other video of the caps. We've taken the casters off and put sliders underneath. You don't really need casters, we feel. It's something we're again looking at now as to doing that when the pedals are too high and not very comfortable. There's plenty of legroom here, but you can see not as much legroom as the, the caps here, uh, sorry, as the for the Franca. Let's have a look at the worksheet, which I've got on the music stand already. So let's move up to there and uh, we can see the worksheet, assessment sheet. Well, that, like, we've done work on the piano already. So I've just ticked off some of the work that we've done, um, which we've pitch raised from very, very low. And you can see a summary of the rest of the piano. Work to do, reface and voice. 
Um, fine regulation is more or less finished actually, but might be able to refine it even more. And lastly, as we have always mentioning, uh, the weight into the keys isn't quite even. Actually, I, look, I looked at previously, it was heavier than this, but it's been lubricated. And as a result, it's um, reduced quite a bit, but it's still a bit high really, 60 bit high should be down to 52 as we mentioned many times and uh, should be about 50 in the middle that's not too far off a bit lighter near the top but um, we'll even that off obviously between uh, 50 plus or minus two or three grams would be ideal so thank you very much for listening i want to compare, compare it with other pianos we'll compare it with the caps next door which is uh, sorry the next to it uh, which is uh, one that we often do source and love very much as well and uh, we'll also compare it with the modern piano, I think. So here's the caps, similar height, similar piano, 1926. And the new Forrick. This is a 1974 Yamaha U1. Thank you. 